Até lá, Marat. This is the story of Anibal Milaj, Portuguese war hero and all-around badass. This one's for Anibal right Cheers here. Cheers to Anibal. Cheers to Anibal. His name sounds like animal. That's crazy <laughs> enough as it is. Man. He was an animal. Mm. Yeah, man. So today we're here to talk about World War I, which Portuguese really didn't have too much business being involved with, being involved in, in the mm. first place. Portugal's a small country, man. We send any sort of troops and it's a major win. It's huge. All that aside, Portugal ends up in Belgium, April 9th, 1918. So we have these troops there. We're partnering with the British. Boom. The Germans are coming. There's 55,000 of them. They start marching. Their orders are to protect at all costs and die there on that field so that the British troops could retreat and fortify. The German troops are coming forward. Everyone's leaving. And all of a sudden, when you need a hero, boom. Anibal Milange. Anibal with a Super Mario Brothers style mustache. Dude sees guys dying all around him. He's the Portuguese Rambo, man. People are like, oh, we're scared, Anibal, we're scared. If you're scared, go to church. <laughs> if you're scared, go to church. Pai filho speed sons. He heads up, boom, pulls out his machine gun. He's got crazy amounts of ammo. He mows them down. Bop, 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 bop. And he's like, you guys go. I got this crazy ass skill called the fire and maneuver. He's using the, the fire and maneuver, which is like brrr, barrel roll, side to side, boom, boom, boom. And then boom, brrr, second barrel roll, shooting dudes. And to his right is Fockish. He was at peace because there was some a positive exchange there. Positive exchange. And <laughs> whatever that might be, let's have a positive exchange. That's, that's one, right? Let's do like that's two. two. Curly fries, give me curly fries. That's three, all right? An actual handshake. Hey, pleasure to see you, right? And then Fresh Prince of Bel Air, you slap. A positive exchange was had. And then they went back to battle, those dudes. That was his buddy. Bakas is with Andy Ball there. He's like, yo, I got your back, Andy Ball. Bakas runs out of ammo. He's like, I ran out of ammo. I got to run. I can get it. I'm going to jump up and run away. I can get out of here. And Annie Ball's like, I got this. No, sit still. I got so much ammo from like all these other dead soldiers, man. It's true. Like he got ammo from dead soldiers because you have to do that. Like it's you in the world right at that point. And Vodka is just like, I got to go run for cover. And he Ball's like, no, dude, don't do that, man. They're shooting. Vodka's just like, I got to go. Turns into slow-mo like, you're like he takes four steps grenade hits him body parts everywhere man my levakish he died he died the dude of all kinds of cows Myler's Rockage, dude. He thought he could run. He thought it was a movie. And so Anibal was like, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep battling for you, man. And he just started slaying dudes. Bop, bop, bop. He heads up. Brr, we went over this, right? Brr, and then reload with dead dudes ammo. Brr, da, 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 da. And it like stalls. Re still he's over there. He's like, I can get this. He's Portuguese. Yeah, he's like, who kicks Pasaki? And they say, oh, who kicks Pasaki? And he's like, Sperai. Boom, boom, boom. Grabs the ammo, loads it up. <laughs> <laughs> Andy Balmilange mows down a bunch of German soldiers again. He's like, I'm Andy Ball. They don't want none of this. Hey, German soldiers, we're not about that life. And the Germans were so weirded out by it that they were like, there's gotta be hundreds of dudes over there. We gotta rethink this, they organized. Whoa, there's hundreds of dudes there. We gotta go around this area. They went around because of one man, Anibal. They went around. They went around. He shot so many just German guys who were coming to kill them, man. German dudes, German omenge, swall, Alemania, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Should we have another one? 
Yeah. This Ooh. guy's a hero, man. Right? F***ing guy. And then it gets clear. He's like, I got to retreat. Boom, he bounces back. He's walking back. He sees the guy to his left, Scottish guy. He's like injured from, from battles. He's like, whoa, this is a great opportunity for me to add to my badass legacy as like the Portuguese Rambo. <laughs> he was flexing on him, man. You know? He's like, ugh. Like, Sylvester Stallone, man. Eu sou o Portuguese Rambo. <laughs> He's like, hey, you need saving? He's like, you're fucking right. Boom. Throws him all over the shoulder, dude. Like, bam. He's like, oh, thank you for saving me fucking life. Gets back to headquarters. Gets back to where the troops are. And he's like, yo, boom. He like lays this Scottish dude down. They fix Scottish dude. He's got like one gunshot wound. He's fine. But that Scottish dude, he was a high ranking official. He's like, this guy saved my life. This fucking saved me. I can't do a Scottish accent. So anyway, he's like, this guy was amazing. He was shooting people. He started just killing dudes. Like it was like the sad part at the end of a movie where Whitney Houston sees the soundtrack. And I, I, I will all... He's shooting Whitney Houston. He's shooting people. Everyone's retreating. He was doing this. He was doing that. On his way back, he saved my life. Anibal's not one to brag. He was out there, Rambo, Portugal. But he was shy. And if not for that, that Scottish dude he carried and he saved, they would have never known all the things that Annabal did. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. You're on that, the, can we, this man's on the grown sexy Portuguese tip. Like, look at this. Look at this cork, the new cork on the wine. That's the Gal de Barcelos. That's a whole nother episode. That's a whole nother history. episode, guys. This is the Portuguese, the most famous That's coffee in Portugal. All right. Until Helder came along, right guys? <laughs> All right, let's, all right, let's deliver. Here we go. It's gonna be hard to focus now because now I've mixed whatever this was with this. So, but Annabelle gets to Portugal and the king's like, I gotta give this guy the highest honor in World War I that any Portuguese serviceman ever received. It was the mil, okay, it was the military order of the sword. No, I messed that up. <laughs> it was the mil, it was the military. <laughs> Why is the name of this award so long? <laughs> the military order of the tower and the sword and <laughs> and of the valor. That's it? No, 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 there's more. <laughs> of uh, the tower of of valor and of loyalty and of merit. <laughs> this guy's. <laughs> he won the honor of MVP. <laughs> because that award's name is Crazy Long. The greatest war hero of World War I in Portugal. Hey, this one's for you, Hannibal. Do they know that this is actually apple juice? No, I'm just kidding. The Brit oh. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Weird. That's <laughs> I, I told you, I, I don't trust cats.